the one that's coming on Thursday, this one's going to track just a little bit further east, and that's going to be just enough to keep most of the snow away from us. So let's time it out here as we go through tomorrow. We will uh, wake up with plenty of sunshine in the morning. That's the flip side of all this cold air, but obviously it's not going to do a whole lot for us, just getting us to 20 in the afternoon. We'll start seeing flakes again by Thursday morning. This is 7 a.m. I think the stuff in the morning is going to be pretty light. It's mostly going to be the afternoon when the accumulating snow starts. And just like the last system, it's the east side that are going to see the higher totals. West and north zone, you're going to see slightly lower totals. And then everything kind of wraps up as we head towards midnight on Thursday night going into Friday. So here's the damage. By the time everything is said and done, it's going to be one to three inches, which uh, if we've already shoveled off six plus, this is going to be child's play. It's just going to be a light workout compared to what we went through. Uh, I think some of those higher totals will get close to four, but should stay just south. Got a lot of storm pins. This may be what it looks like again on Thursday, but Dave and Windsor had some beautiful shots of the snow falling and the wind really doing some work up there in Port Huron. You can see some of those drifts up there and how high they are. That column in the background there, that's four foot. So that is a significant drift there in Macomb. And we were talking about this on uh, some of the early shows about the ice dams are along the edges of people's roofs and you can see it here from Lola and Smith's Creek. So a lot of that uh, is going to be going on as winter has firmly got its hands around our shoulders. We'll say here in Metro Detroit. One degree tonight for that overnight low. That's the coldest we've been since February of 2019. 20 degrees in the afternoon tomorrow. And again, we're going to start with plenty of sunshine. We're going to tack on some clouds in the afternoon. Thursday is the snow couple of those flakes may linger into Friday, but most of that's going to be dry. And we haven't had time to talk about this, guys, but this next system on Sunday, it is actually going to be warm enough to change some of that snow to rain on Sunday night and Monday morning. 